Sulfuric acid Sulfuric acid is known as the king of chemicals. It is one of the most important industrial chemicals. Its greatest use is in the production of fertilizers, but it is also used in the refining of petroleum and production of automobile batteries, explosives, pigments, iron and other metals and paper pulp etc. Let us see the industrial preparation of sulfuric acid. Nowadays, sulfuric acid is prepared by contact process all over the world. When sulfur is burned, it produces sulfur dioxide gas. Yes, on reaction with O2 gives SO2. The main step is the oxidation of sulfur dioxide. This takes place at a favorable temperature of 450 degrees Celsius to 500 degrees Celsius. At low temperature, rate of reaction decreases. To increase the rate of reaction, a catalyst vanadium pentoxide is used. Optimum pressure is about 1 to 2 atm. When sulfur dioxide is oxidized, we get sulfur trioxide and heat. 2SO2 on reaction with O2 forms 2SO3 and heat. Sulfuric acid can be obtained by dissolving sulfur trioxide in water. But since the dissolution of sulfur trioxide in water is highly exothermic, the sulfuric acid that is formed first vaporizes to form a smog which hinders further dissolution. Hence, this method is not used for the preparation of sulfuric acid. Instead, sulfur trioxide is dissolved and 98% sulfuric acid solution get oleum. SO3 on reaction with H2SO4 forms H2S2O7 that is oleum and sulfuric acid of any concentration can be prepared by adding required quantity of water to oleum H2S2O7 on reaction with H2O gives 2H2SO4 The reaction between acid and water is exothermic reaction. Hence, when concentrated acids are diluted, slowly add the required quantity of acid in a thin stream to water with continuous stirring. Never add water into concentrated acid. When you add concentrated sulfuric acid to sugar, the result is interesting. The sulfuric acid dehydrates the carbohydrate sugar, removing the water and heating it into steam, leaving behind a carbon form. Take a small amount of blue vitriol in a wash glass and add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to it. As concentrated sulfuric acid absorbs the water, of crystallization from blue crystalline copper sulfate, it is converted to white anhydrous copper sulfate. Hence, the process of removing the chemically combined water from substances is called dehydration. The substances that remove water from the chemicals are called drying agents. Concentrated sulfuric acid is used for drying gases like sulfur dioxide and hydrogen chloride during their laboratory preparation. Let us see the reaction of sulfuric acid with salts. Take some dilute sulfuric acid in a test tube. Add a little sodium carbonate to it. We can see that 
the sulfuric acid combines with carbonate salts and forms carbon dioxide gas. Pass the gas produced through clear lime water taken in another test tube. Carbon dioxide passed into lime water gives a milky solution. Nitric acid forms sulfuric acid on reaction with nitrate salts and it forms hydrochloric acid on reaction with chloride salts. For example, sodium nitrate reacts with sulfuric acid to form nitric acid. NaNO3 on reaction with H2SO4 gives NaHSO4 and HNO3. Similarly, sodium chloride reacts with sulfuric acid to form hydrochloric acid. NaCl on reaction with H2SO4 gives NaHSO4 and HCl. Test to detect sulfates. Take a small quantity of aqueous solution of sodium sulfate in a test tube. Add three or four drops of barium chloride solution into it. When a solution of barium chloride is poured into the solution of sodium sulfate, a white precipitate of barium sulfate is formed. Na2SO4 on reaction with BaCl2 gives BaSO4 and 2NaCl. Barium carbonate also forms a white precipitate. To confirm the presence of sulfate, it is to be tested by adding concentrated hydrochloric acid to it. Barium sulfate is insoluble in hydrochloric acid. Test to detect chlorides. Take a small quantity of sodium chloride solution in a test tube. Add a few drops of silver nitrate solution into it. A white curdy precipitate is formed. If the white precipitate dissolves on adding ammonium hydroxide, it can be confirmed that the given salt is chloride salt. NaCl on reaction with AgNO3 gives AgCl and NaNO3. Test to detect nitrates. Take a small quantity of aqueous solution of nitrate in a test tube. Add an equal volume of freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution to it. Shake well. Then pour concentrated sulfuric acid through the sides of the test tube slowly without shaking it. Formation of a brown ring at junction where the two solutions meet indicates the presence of nitrate. Now we are familiar with the methods of preparation and the general characteristics of industrially important compounds like ammonia and sulfuric acid.